Hey guys, it's Vital Kaz, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get this nail, um, this nail polish design on your face, or you can even do it on your nails, whatever you girls or fabulous men would like to do. But since Valentine's is like next month, I decided to do like this type of Valentine theme, you know, case. And I hope you guys like it. You guys don't have to do it just like me. You guys can just pick one design and just put the full one and just one full eye part. What I did at first, I separated, I divided the spaces, so I did four squares for four designs. You can do two, just one, two-sided, or three-sided, six-sided, <laughs> however you guys want. But these are just some ideas that I had given, that I was giving you guys for Valentine's. And what I did, I used a ruler and a Sharpie. Please ignore the, the design in the background. I, I did one before this one, and my dumbass... <laughs> use sharpie oh see i use sharpie again but anyway and it wouldn't come off so please ignore that what i did for the first design i used these colors to do an ombre type of look so what i started off with the darker nail polish oh and by the way the ipod case it does it uh I, I recommend white color case phone case or anything light that way the colors can be a little bit brighter but anyway, I started off with the brown, with the darker, I'm so bad at this, with the darker pink, then I went to second dark pink, and it's okay if the colors combine, that way it could, it could have the effect of like blending together and like fading together. After that I used a lighter color, I don't have sponges or makeup sponges, so I used a makeup eyeshadow brush, I think it's called, to try to do this, but you guys can use whatever you guys need to try to blend in the colors. After I did that, I used white. And yes, I kept, I didn't use the same brush, I kept changing the brushes, that way the colors won't mix. They won't look too, too mixed, you know what I mean? So I do that. And this is what you should get. Sorry that my looks, my case looks really wrecked, it's just like, it's really, it's been used so many times. But I hope you guys, uh, this is the ombre look. For the next one, I used these colors for the next design. And I used a white background. My plan for this one was to make polka dots, to, to do polka dots. So I use a white background. But while letting the white one dry, I use this polish to do this one. You, you guys don't really have to use this one. You guys can use a pink or any type of color and add glitter to it. But since I have this one, I thought it was really cute. So I decided to use this one. And I got something like this. It's really cute. And then after that, uh, use a toothpick. I don't have a nail daughter, so I use a toothpick to do polka dots. So you guys can do any color. Like I said, you guys don't have to use mine, but I chose purple, pink, and red. And I started, the, the dots were really small. Like, I just kept messing up, so they went from small to big. And you guys can do it in any pattern, whatever you guys like. You guys like it, so you guys don't have to be specific like I did. And this is what I got. I thought it was really nice and cute. And yeah, <laughs> I'm a very awkward person. And for the next design, I used this, these colors. And what I did for the background, this was like gonna be like a leopardy type of thing. So for the background, I used this type of peachy, pinkish, brownish, reddish. <laughs> I obviously don't know my colors to cover the background as a background color. And I got something like this. Let it dry. Okay, you gotta know the things dry. And then I created hearts at first. So I used the same colors: pink, purple, and red. And I started creating hearts. I really hope I can explain this, but if it's not really explainable, I hope watching this helps you. But what I did, I drew, I placed two dots next to each other, not touching each other, but next to each other. And I slanted a line downward, and then the other, the same, connecting it. Then I kept coloring it, coloring it in as, if, as I'm doing right now, to try to create that heart. I'll show two more, just so you guys can. I can show you guys. But while that's happening, I just hope you guys know that this is kind of my first time doing a voiceover again. It's been a while I haven't done it. So please apologize if this wasn't really explainable or if you, if you don't understand me. I have a really weird, like, voice. <laughs> uh, but I really hope it was really explainable. Um, let's see, what else should I tell you guys? Yeah, oh, and the case here's a red one. The case, I recommend a hard case or a plastic case. No rubber because the rubber and um, the nail polish would easily come off and it'd be really difficult to um it'd be really frustrating. 
really, really frustrating. So I recommend that. And it could be in any case. So these are the three hearts. And I covered them all. Please leave some spaces. That way so we can add um, more stuff. But here are some hearts. This should look something like this. So with the black nail striper, I the, the, the leopard effect, I can probably... The way I would explain it is like you do these C-like shapes around the hearts, like on the hearts, as you can see right now, like a C and then you add another you know, back words or something. Uh, just make sure the lines do not connect, leave some spaces, and I do that to pretty much all of them, but I'll keep showing you guys more. Do you guys have Valentine? I don't. <laughs> anyway. Um, I added random dots. I, uh, to me, it was like a little bit too spacey, so I added more random dots. They don't have to be perfect circles, and I also did the same effect with the black striper, the same leopard effect. I really hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm really sorry if it's really boring. But really, I, if you guys do, do this, I want to see this. Okay, anyway, this is what you get. I did add random dots to a space, as you can see the black little dots. For the final thing, I use rhinestones and these flowers. I can't really tell you where I got these flowers. My grandma gave them to me. But I, I guess they're in any, any beauty store or nail store that you can find. But what I did, I added the flowers in each corner. And this is what I got. Like I said, you guys don't have to use these flowers. You guys can use whatever you guys want. It really depends on what your taste is. Like. After I used rhinestones to cover the black lines, you, you guys can leave it like this if you guys like it. But I wanted to make it more fabulous, so I added more rhinestones all over the black lines. And I used clear polish, and then I kind of dabbed it on the, I kind of followed the black line, then I dipped the toothpick in it, and then I started arranging the rhinestones, and I got this. If you guys like it, uh, please let me know. Leave me suggestions down below, and I'll make more. But I hope your Valentine goes great. You ladies and my fabulous guys. It would look cute in any case. Oh, and the front, I don't really do anything much besides I, I most likely would put like just one color. But on the inside, I don't do anything. But I hope you guys like it. And let me know if you guys did. And leave me suggestions. Follow me on Instagram, on Twitter. Show me your designs if you guys do do this. And I really hope you guys have fabulous Valentine's. Um, don't be so lonely. I know I'll be. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really hope you guys like it. Stay beautiful, stay lovely, stay pimping, stay hot, <laughs> UTS, and I'll see you guys next time, okay? Happy Valentine's and early Valentine's. Bye!